about Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Sunny skies just about for most of the day today. We've got a couple of uh, clouds, uh, cloud decks moving through, some higher stratus clouds moving across western Oregon right now. I'm not expecting any problems with these though in terms of not only just rainfall, this is basically a little weak disturbance, a little kink in the atmosphere sliding its way across, but it is out there and a lot of folks look at that and you say, whoa, wait a minute, I thought we were supposed to see sunny skies today. Well, yes, we knew this was coming, but as I mentioned, it's not very strong. I'll zoom out and show you what it's got. Cold front, weak cold front at that attached to that. As that continues to get closer to, it'll keep some of the cloud cover around for most of western Washington and probably a mostly cloudy finish to the day up across the northern coast and up around Portland. But all the rain that tries to make it close to the ground pretty much just sort of falling apart as it runs into this very warm and very dry air mass that's over top of us. Check out the highs today. We tied our highest temperature, our warmest temperature of 2013 of 78. I think we'll surpass that likely within the next 48 hours. 80 in the Dalles. Even back east we saw low to mid 70s and the hot spot today down in Medford where they're approaching 90 degrees. I got a good idea or a good bet I would say that they'll probably hit 90 uh, by this weekend, possibly Saturday or Sunday's forecast. Even out at the coast, 70 in North Bend today, 63 in Newport and almost touching 70 up in Astoria. Right now, we've got mid to upper 50s at the coastline. We're looking at 76 in Corvallis, 73 in Eugene and also Cottage Grove, still warm down in Roseburg. They have not had any of that cloud cover make it down towards the Umpqua yet. 60s in the mountains, low 70s in Bend and a very pleasant night as we go overnight tonight. I will keep some cloud cover around that disturbance may just push some marine layer off the beaches in towards Coos Bay and North Bend and right around the central coast but I think inland areas after that moves through we'll be back to pretty much clear skies overnight tonight and in towards tomorrow morning's forecast. Speaking of tomorrow we're still watching that warm air push northward. It was in the 80s today in the Bay Area around San Fran and Oakland and so all that warm air is trucking northward up the I-5 corridor and that'll plant right on top of us for about the next two days. So as this little kink gets out of the way the high starts to rebuild all of this junk this activity you see going on in the northern uh, Pacific, all of that will push up in towards British Columbia and the Gulf of Alaska as that high will take hold and it's not going to allow any of that in our forecast. So we'll keep things very toasty and very warm going into the weekend. In fact, after a toasty day tomorrow in the upper 70s like today, I think we're likely looking at a stretch of 80s for both Saturday and Sunday. Now, as we transition to next week, though, we'll start to see a big piece of energy cut off from the jet stream, what we call a cutoff low. And that'll move into Northern California. And I do believe we're going to see little bands kind of swinging off of that by Monday night and Tuesday may bring a chance for some thunderstorms for us uh, by late afternoons. We'll be keeping watch of that. So the coast is sunny and breezy. Tomorrow will be a great looking Saturday forecast well into the 70s. Then we slowly cool off Sunday. The winds switch, start moving in off the ocean again. And that was the cooler Pacific air. We'll drop temperatures back down into the upper 50s. In the Umpqua Basin tomorrow, another great looking day. Temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s. A very toasty weekend forecast in the mid 80s, Saturday and Sunday, and then slightly cooler. And I do think we've got our best chance to see some thunderstorms in the forecast on Tuesday. In the Cascades, they'll also see some thunderstorms firing from time to time next week. But this weekend, though, sunny and warm, a good steady east northeasterly wind. In Bend and Redmond, the same story. It will be windy tomorrow. Something we'll have to watch. Very dry conditions across uh, the uh, high desert there into central Oregon. Tuesday, Wednesday, could see a few thunderstorms move through. Lightning strikes always get our fire season going here. And finally, here in the valley, we'll see sunny, warm day tomorrow in the upper 70s again, and then pushing into the low 80s for this weekend. A little cooler next week, guys, with the clouds returning, but uh, still overall a very, very warm early July, mid-July, it's called that, mid-July forecast for this weekend. It's kind of hard to even think about those fires that you're talking about over f fire dangers right now, but we saw on Pleasant Hill what happened. It's yep. dry, winds pick up in the afternoon. It's not going to take much this weekend, too, for folks that are cleaning up the yards. All right. Thanks, Justin. You bet.